This clip is going to be about uh, things I do compulsively without being OCD. So, yeah, there are quite a few things I do quite erratically, not in the worst way, but like still a little out there. But they're like, uh, but there are things you gotta understand if they can even relate to them. One very oddly specific thing I do that is rather compulsive, not OCD, is at the very end of every text box. So, like, say we're on Discord or on YouTube comments. If we get to the very end of the text box, I will wait until the very small symbol, including periods, can fit at the very end of that text box. And if it can, and if I'm feeling ready with my paragraph, which I define in different ways, like how much is another video I need to, but otherwise, for me, a paragraph is three to five sentences plus or eight sentences. And then if it's more than eight sentences, it's, it's more like a good essay uh, assignment thing. My, my English teacher in high school was very promptu about like, uh, not impromptu, but promptu. I <laughs> that's not a word. The other one may have been as well. He, if it was three or five senses, it's okay. If it's eight, it's better. If it's more than eight, you're, you have more than a passing grade for an assi assignment, I guess. Because if you did less than three senses, that's that's poor. And if you did less than eight senses, you, just, you could try harder. You know, you could be more inspired or something for the prompts, uh, too. But, uh, but yeah, I will wait until anything can maximize that very end of the text box. And if it goes beyond, I'll keep typing. If it fits, I can end it if if I'm willing to end it from that what if I typed in? I do this more often than you think. I actually, you have not seen me live stream my typing as often. I mean, I did in the one of the claymation live streams. You saw me type a comment and I kept going and going and going. Not because I write a lot. I mean, not, not always anyways, but because I was trying to fit if I wanted to, and that, that's why I didn't, but um, if I wanted to fit all those characters in the same so slot of that uh, computer program. Now I just text, it's, ty it's typing, whatever, on my keyboard. But uh, <laughs> uh, to fit them in front. That's just one thing I do that's kind of uh, compulsive. And another thing, I can, I can easily fix that, but it just, I did it over time at least. I took, that, in the live stream for Claymation, I, I actually stopped about uh, like two thirds of the way from a, one third of the way of the end of, of the, end of the box, of that line. I didn't have to remember that, but <laughs> another thing I do is that before I used to um, count the number of times I span and try to keep my spin degrees uh, from like, so like turning, like trying to remember the orientation I kept the, for the, as long as I could the last time I spent. Because if I spend a certain direction 150 times, I have to spend the other way 150 times to get back into motion. It's not necessary, but it was it was a philosophy. It was like a it was a challenge, I guess. Uh, whatever. That's I guess that's more deeper than anything. It was like more deep because that's more uh, loosely connected to certain things like my uh, spectrum disorder and all that. So you know, and let me see because I uh oh I keep. Okay, remember when I mentioned I fake my nonverbal cues, my motion sometimes, and sometimes I fake my uh, laughing or something? That too, that's what I fake it till you make it kind of thing. And you also have like a certain orientation where it's like, I'll fake my motions, or I'll fake laugh, and then I'll fake my like, nonverbal cues. And uh, that's not so much compulsive, but you know, just thing. Oh, and I also used to like, uh, I, I told this to my, like, my high school psychologist that uh, my high school therapist, I think it was like, um, that the factorizational production <laughs> of these, not as an example, just why couldn't it just been perfect? <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, it's just like anything that could be like that compulsive and that picky and over micro nano sized, like trivial details, third world, de first world details. That, that, that was, that's not even first world anymore. That's just picky as hell. Jesus, like, I didn't even explain what I just said there. I just, I but you, you, you may right, right, guess what I said. So you know, stuff like that. This is this was just a nice video talking about compulsive, uh, compulsive behaviors. So just, oh, maybe rituals and patterns, I guess, for me, because that's also spectrum, spectrum disorder related. But uh, as you all know, my autism isn't just about my behavior. It's also about my thinking. It's like anything that I don't understand now confused. If I don't understand you guys as well. Believe me, I know that in within itself. I know within itself that I have things that I don't understand myself, but I know what's missing, so I'm able to work with that in the meantime. That's a very weird, insightful paradox. It's like with like behaviors and uh, understandings and thinkings, and not being too trapped or locked locked in in my own head, and not knowing what's going on around me, but also knowing everything I'm doing. So what the hell, you know? But yeah, with compulsory stuff, without being OCD, and I'm not OCD, so compulsory, I was just um. There are things I do, again, for a second style, but there are things I do or don't do for good enough reason. As you've heard before me say before, hopefully, was uh, doing choosing not to act as an action itself. That's supposed to be an insightful quote from a psychologist from senior newspapers, senior articles and magazines. 
But I think I think that by the way. <laughs> Oops. Oof. Too too self uh, too self uh, aware. Oh. <laughs> Uh, but compulsive behaviors, maybe maybe self-awareness was a compulsive behavior, but you know, having too much of it on purpose just to make sure I knew what I was doing. But I always know what I was doing, so. But compulsive like that. I wanted to be specific with this video with another topic was compulsory stuff because our last video I talked about female nature and I was uh, I was gonna start again with like something like uh, why I, why I have woman attraction both ways, but this was a better detachment to just, just do something interesting again. I'm gonna go back into that female stuff in a later videos for this two videos per day thing. I'm gonna go into like why why I'm not as romantic as you may think I am, even though I'm still a very loving person and stuff like that, you know. But you know very controversial ideas. Like like why I'm not as uh, hopelessly romantic as you may think I am. Even though I'm still a very loving, attractive person. But uh and devoted and uh patient and all that. But uh and you know uh, Wonder Boyish. <laughs> Maybe Wonder Boy might be the next video. Wonder Boyish. Uh, 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 busing or whatever. But yeah, this was uh, compulsory um, behaviors that are both good and bad or whatever. How we make of them. You know, I, I, I make good things about them so far. I listen to this video. You know, that's just what I thought. Stay still, everyone, because everyone's on the move. This has been your second of two videos for the Daily Dose of my version of Daily Dose of Lamb Dog 76. <laughs> and uh, doing that myself. See how long I can go. At least two months is what I'll do for this. Two months of doing the. My own version of that, and I might name this, uh, put this in a playlist, and not name, rename these videos to 2.5 percent, and uh, side A, side B for the videos, whatever. And the plan is that if I do this twice a day, and then have 14 videos in a week, and then I have like potentially four contributions on Thursday to add into six. That's how it makes six videos in that day. Is it's two plus four or four plus two, and like how the word orientates. I'm not gonna burn out myself doing this. I just if these are raw uploads and raw not edited videos, and I think the other. End of that is if I uh, make consecrations that are still not burning me out, but not that they, I'm not done that they would, but they, not necessarily if it would. But with consecrations that I already enjoy making, that I have time to make, and that also not in the worst way, but to have them made and all that. So with these series, I just wanted to update was that yeah, almost every day, two videos a day, if not one or two, if not every single day, maybe not every single day, but you know, yeah. See you guys. All crossings out. Yeah.